Previously on Fallout New Vegas. Although Sarah at Vault 21 still kept a place for her brother at the hotel, Courier 6 soon found out that he rarely ever stopped by. Rather, he spent most of his time just next door. Her brother Sheldon was more famously known as the local artist Michelangelo who had designed and helped construct the many neon signs that Vegas was famous for. However, recent days weighed heavily on his mind and Sheldon hired the courier to bring him some much needed inspiration. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Howdy, partner. Howdy. How you doing there, partner? We're hanging out here in Fallout New Vegas land in this weird little town that's been just kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Bonnie Springs, it's called, and we are headed on over to this old vault. Vault 19. My god. Now, apparently, uh, according to Gentle Viewer, Logical Fallacy, this is uh, one that contains... Uh, well, you know what? Hey, I won't spoil it for you, just in case you're unfamiliar, but it is one that I am familiar with. Uh, I've actually been to this one before, but it's been so long ago that I've been up in here. And honestly, I thought I, I even entered it from a different location and shit. But, uh, my god, I don't know. Just a, a whole weird situation going on. Anyway, you may notice a few things look slightly different as well. Like, hey, perhaps these garbage cans, they look a little bit better. Don't be a litter bug. Keep America beautiful. And look, there's some weird freak bug thing there, grinning, giving you a shit-eating grin. My god. And also, some of these cars. Oh, they look pretty nice, don't, don't they? Hey, weird stuff going on in the wasteland. Well, guess what? I did it. Your old pal Lyle Schnub fucking did it. I fixed everything. Guess what? It wasn't Mission Mojave that was uh, the terrible <laughs> racist, but it was me! No, no, oh good lord, people are gonna take that out of context, it's gonna be bad. That's not what I mean. <laughs> don't, don't take it like that. Really, um, Mission Mojave did not, I want to get this out there and say it loud and proud, Mission Mojave is not problematic. It did not change, like, any of the races around of folks that we were seeing. In fact, the wildest shit, I'm not sure how exactly I fixed it because, guess what? This ain't the first time I came in through here. In fact, I came into Vault 19 and talked to none other than Samuel Cook over here in the corner. And Samuel Cook, where, well, he suffered the horrific events of, uh, I don't know what the fuck you would call it, but, uh, he had, uh, <laughs> he had, uh, the body of someone with a dark complexion and the face of someone with a, a lighter complexion. And I was like, you know what? I've had it up to here with this. I need to try and figure out a fix. I need to figure out something. If this other mod isn't going to overwrite shit, well, shit, maybe I can find one that will. And you know what? As it turns out, I th it was me. I fucked it up. I fucked up the installation somehow in the weirdest... <laughs> and as it turns out, one of the weirdest fucking bugs in New Vegas is that people get a weird-ass race change. So, look, check it out. Samuel Cook looks exactly how he should look. There's no weird divide between his, like, neckline and his, um, his actual... Ooh, what are you doing there, dude? Hey, but there's no weird shit going on. Uh, NMC's texture pack has kicked in again, because somehow it got fucked up. I don't know what the hell happened, but now you can see, look, everything here is, like, definitely in higher definition, whereas before, only certain things uh, were affected, which was a little bit fucking bizarre. But now... Holy shit, everything is working good and great. Now, what was the solution? Like I said, I have no fucking clue. Because I was just so fed up. I was like, shit me! Man, I'm gonna rip my damn dick off! And guess what? Somehow, in ripping off my own dick, I fixed it. I don't know how I did it. I, like, uh, uh, I invalidated some archives, I revalidated them, and I invalidated them again. I swapped around load orders, I reinstalled something I don't even remember. I just did a shitload of stuff, and somehow... I didn't even do it the proper way that you're supposed to, where you just, like, come in and out uh, non-stop to check on uh, each individual change what it did, because I was just like, I'm just gonna change fucking everything! Burn it to the damn ground! And guess what? It worked! <laughs> Somehow, it worked! Boom! Ten luck in real life, apparently! My god, alright, Samuel Cook, talk to me! Who the hell are you? I know you weren't one of the inmates. Oh my god, it's so good to know that Mission Mojave is actually not... Fucking awful. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What a terrible mistake. What? 
I've made a terrible fucking error. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? On the bright side, we fixed it all. It's all been fixed. It's all behind us. All right. Hey, what, what's got you so worked up, Sam? That coward Lim has been talking about surrendering to the NCR. Now the men are confused, not sure who's leading this gang. Fucking idiots. Man, what a bunch of fucking idiots. Who's Lim? Who is this fucking idiot? He was an inmate like the rest of us. He was useful during the jailbreak, but now he's just another coward. He wants us to leave the vault and hand our asses to the NCR, as if they treat us like human beings. Damn, dude. All right, here, tell me about the prison break. Jeez, we might need to turn down the music again. Good lord, it's really pumping up, isn't it? Here, tell me about the prison break. A beautiful thing. Saved a little blast powder here, hit a makeshift weapon there, and one day I orchestrated a little symphony for the NCR. Alright, well, so what brought you to this place? Heard there was an abandoned vault along this mountain ridge, and that the wildlife here had teeth big enough to keep the NCR away. Right, the death claw is just south. Why is the area so dangerous? It's a fucking death trap around here. Fiends swarm all over Vault 3 in the east, and there are fucking death claws south of that at Quarry Junction. Ooh, they're fucking! If you're looking for humans, <clears throat> the cons are north of us, and there's an NCR base at McCarran past Vault 3. Supposedly, there are muties to the southeast. If you're looking for humans, I like how he doesn't include the fiends and the humans. All right, here, tell me about the fiends. Like raiders, but worse. These guys are messed up on every damn Kim there is. You can spot them by the horned skulls they wear as hats. All right, here, tell me about Quarry Junction. The NCR has been mining there for a while, but now it's full of death claws. Don't go there unless you want a quick, bloody death. Huh, all right. Tell me about the super mutants. I've heard the muties there are different, completely insane, and supposedly they use some kind of invisibility technology. I'd stay away. Hmm, okay, well, tell me about Camp McCarran. It's the main base for the NCR, and a breeding ground for oppression in the name of patriotic bullshit. Do humanity a favor and blow it up. Damn, dude. All right, spoken like a true powder ganger, huh? All right, here, tell me about the great cons. They've been through some rough times, but they can hold their own. I wouldn't mind taking the boys and signing up with them if it weren't for Lem. Oh man, Lem is such a fucking idiot, isn't he? Here, let's talk about something else. Uh, now tell me about the problems with this fucking idiot. He was an inmate like the rest of us. He had his uses, but he's a coward and a troublemaker. Here, okay, let's talk about something else. What do you want to know? Well, who are you? You really don't know. I'm Samuel Cook. I was the brains behind the NCRCF prison break. Oh man. Well, how'd you end up in prison? I was blowing up supply caravans along the 15 freeway. The NCR got wise to my ambush spots, picked me up and threw me in a cage. Jesus. Were you blowing up the caravans and the people with them too? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Man, I wonder if he's how, if he's the reason for the entirety of the Powder Gangers being them. Maybe he's the first Powder Ganger who started it, right? Damn. All right, here, why do you hate the NCR so much? Their Republic is a joke. They're a bunch of tyrants led by an even greater tyrant, that idiot Kimball. They think they have the right to annex every inch of dirt in the West and force their system on every man, woman, and child. Huh. All right, an interesting take. Can we ask him about uh, what he thinks of Caesar, who is like... Like, if you think the, the NCR is tyrannical, <laughs> what do you think of Caesar? I'd love to know. Oh, unfortunately, we cannot ask him. Do you know anything about this vault? Some of the computers still work but the only files are diaries and garbage. Typical vault. Also, why aren't you trying to blow my ass away? Because, you know, the, the other powder gangers tried to blow me away big time. Here, let's talk about something else. What do you want to... Let's see, got any work? There's some fire geckos in the lower levels of the vault. We need to get them gone so we can get to the sulfur. Oh. You go clear them out for us, and there'll be some caps for you. Okay, why can't you do it? I have to keep an eye out on that bastard limb. The second I turn my back, he might go crying to the NCR. Man, what, so what a fucking you idiot. You going to take care of those geckos? Uh, what do you need the sulfur for? Explosives. Bombs. Big, big fucking bombs. You gonna help us or not? Dude, can I get some of those big bombs? I got some... I love big bombs. It's gotta be said. All right, yeah. Sure, Sam Cook. Great. Get to it. Oh, and take this. There's some weird shit with this vault security, and some doors will only open if you have a key card. Huh. Okay. Weird. All right, here, let's turn down. Oh, hang on. What's the name of this quest? Oh, we missed it. All right. Well, fortunately, we don't have many quests. Let's first turn down the uh, ambient music here. There we go. We'll make it uh, about on par with the 
Is that okay? Now we'll turn it up one. There we go. That's fine for now. We can adjust it later. And let's do save I and I. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Oh, it's good to it's good to have everything in ship shape. Oh my gosh. At the same time, man, I feel like a complete dumbass. But hey, what else is new? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's track this quest. Babuya, why can't we be friends? Eliminate the fire geckos in the caves under the vault. Sure. Let's do it. Let's see. Red sector door? Hmm. Does this actually lead into a whole new area? No, it does not. Ah, there we go. Now maybe we can find the fucking idiot. Huh. Damn. Running low on smokes again. Hey, you just in here smoking and, like, shitting conductors into a big bucket? Damn, dude. Here, let me check your terminal. Also, can I take this? I like to collect keys. Oh, what the hell is that? Hey, who's out here? Oh, shit. Yo, they closed it behind me? Oh, man, the security here is wild. Also, look at that security. Oh, my gosh, it's blinking red. All right, I guess we didn't fully fix everything, but uh, it'll have to do, pig. All right, let's see. What do you got here? A belt? Some cigarettes, some caps? On the road these days. Wonder what's up. Is he not going to give a shit if I just take his shit right here? Man, he doesn't give a damn. Prim's got some new sheriff watching over the town now. I'd kill you right now if I could. <laughs> yeah, but you can't. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else do you have up in here? Some dynamite? Yoink. Don't mind if I do. Look, you can't kill me? Guess you're going to have to be uh, subjected to my thievery, you sick bastard. Oh, look. But also, he's got a cute little teddy bear. Oh. All right, let's see. What do you got in here? Uh, welcome, user. A message from the overseer. Greetings, residents. We regret to inform you that there is a problem with one of the water purification filters. We assure you that we are working diligently to fix this problem. However, until the filter has been fixed, please try to keep water usage limited and report directly to the clinic if you begin to feel ill in any way. My journal, entry 74. I can hear noises through the intercom sometimes. Dad says he can't hear it, but I can. It's really high pitch, and sometimes I can hear a voice, but I can't make out the words. Mom says it's my imagination, and that I shouldn't talk about it, that I might worry people, but I've talked to some of the other kids. They say they've heard it too. Oh, what the fuck? Oh man, all the kids went crazy. A lot more Holy shit. On the road these days. And they just I ate a bunch of up. people. All right, what's going on up in here? Got some uh, chess set. All right. Oh, what do we got here? Look at this. Message from the Overseer. Journal entry 65. I've been asking around. There is no reason for those filters to fail. It must have been sabotaged. There's a rumor going around that one of the Reds did it. Now, it wouldn't surprise me. Whenever I walk by a group of them in the cafeteria, they all start whispering. I bet they're plotting out what to do next. Oh, right. This was the vault all about, like, uh, making people paranoid of one another or something, right? Hence the, uh, like, the other group is blue people or something, I think? It's all about, like, pitting folks against one another. In fact, that's probably what's, um, going on between, uh, Sam Cooke and that fucking idiot Lem. Maybe they're all, they're actually just, like, chill as hell. But, uh, guess what? The, in the dark influence and taint of the vault has seeped into their minds in a sort of Cthulhu-esque, uh, way. Good lord. Let's see, anything else up in here? Nope. Filing cabinet full of some bullshit. Potato crisps. What have we got in here? Entry 98. I haven't been able to sleep lately. One of the blues. He's always creeping around by the security door. And I think he's trying to get in. Ooh. Good lord. Wasn't the other person writing about reds, though? Just in here? Let's see. Hang on. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, shit. I tried to fast. Oh, God. I tried to do it again. Yep, yep, yep. Yada, yeah. Hey, one of the reds. Yo, they were in the same room? Damn. All right. Let's see. Anything else around here? This is where we came in through. All right. Man, it's going to be rough as hell to remember which doors we've been through if they keep closing on us and shit. I'd kill you right now if I could. Man, you kind of make me want to kill you instead. Blows up. Talking like that. Jeez, you know what they say, talk shit, get hit. Alright, what do we got in here? Terminal. Oh, log 45. Some of the blues caused some trouble in the clinic today. I bet they were stealing drugs. I've heard the vents coming on late at night. Others have too. 
and I bet they are using the drugs to poison us, stealing supplies from the clinic, and using them to kill us all. 26. No, I know the truth. The commotion at the clinic? It was a trick. The doctor must be giving them drugs, and she must be in on it. She never leaves her office. It must be because of the poison being pumped through the vents. Her office must be the only one that is safe. Damn, dude. Alright, what do we got in here? Ooh, hey, guess what? Some jumpsuits. Also, guess what I forgot? Uh, in between the last video, I, <laughs> I straight up loaded up on a bunch of jumpsuits and totally forgot to dump them off at uh, Vault 21. Alright, where are you linking that stuff? Oh, hang on. Take some pre-war money, too. Man, Wouldn't you know what? Having one of those little flying For all these people myself. threatening to kill me uh, if they could, they sure shit don't mind me taking their stuff. Take some of these. Oh, wait. There we go. Another jumpsuit. Eh, some of these. All right. Let's see, what do you got over here? Bobby pin? Something don't mind if I do. Aims for the crotch. <laughs> Something tells me she aims for the crotch? How could you tell that, man? What a weird thing to discern. <laughs> man, well, howdy doody, miss. Howdy, partner. Well, it look, quite looks like you're about to shoot me right in the penis hole. <laughs> Gotta take some of that. There we go. Good stuff. Why, that Annie Oakley, it sure does seem like she's the type to shoot you right you in the dick. <laughs> shoot your left nutsack ball off. Your nutsack ball. <laughs> what a way to speak. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Keep looking around before we head into some other section. Oh, look, the blue sector. We can't enter it. What about in here? Let's keep looking around, huh? Keep moseying about. So you got a big old... Uh, Sort of med medicine symbol. Let's see, anything else over here? Oh, you know what? Hey, there was a game. I can't remember what game it was, but it, this was like a, a while back before uh, video games became super mainstream or uh, to how they are now. But there was some game. It may have been Twisted Metal? I don't know. But uh, there was some, some talk about um, how in games, in, rather than these being like health pickups or something like that, uh, the Red Cross or something like that in America wanted a lot of people to change like the coloration on it to not be red but instead be green uh, because they were worried that people might confuse uh, confuse it with their own symbol which is meant to be like the international symbol of uh, getting help or something like that so, something I vaguely remember something like that there's a weird uh, little bit of uh, trivia huh all right got another teddy bear over here let's see empty anything in this pre-war money yoinking it Oh, that is empty as hell. Pop this sucker open. Oh, hey, yeah, this is the uh, the office now, huh? All right. Patient 1687-865. Okay. Also, today's physician. All right, let's have a listen. Oh, or a read. Male, age 31. 1687-865 often misinterprets others' actions as hostile. He perceives friendly interactions with nurses as patronizing. We've also noticed that the longer other patients remain in contact with 1687-865, the more readily they are to act aggressively towards him, due to 1687-865's defensive nature, thus reinforcing 1687-865's perceived hostility. Ugh, a vicious cycle. All right, 65, 85, uh, 64, 5. Good lord. All right. Male, age 34. A patient brought in by the police. This is the ninth occurrence of such, and we are now seeking extended residence for the patient within our facility. Huh. Doctor's bag? Big old cup? Let's see, what do we got here? Pictures of somebody's crotch, their neck, hand, leg, all sorts of weird stuff. Man, weird stuff, body parts, weird. Who understands that? Not me. All right, let's see. What do we got? Oh, man, a double down. Let's see. And eh, we'll just grab all of it. Let's see. We'll grab all that, too. And what do we have? Oh, look, hey. 3905698. All right. Male, age 27. Patient brought in by police. Patient claims to be hearing voices taunting him. Patient claimed that he, at one point, believed these voices were coming from his grandfather's radio. The patient now believes that the voices are coming from within himself, and he is eager for help. Huh. 
Oh shit, all the patients have been males. Kind of like mid middle-aged? Eh, maybe a bit younger than middle-aged. Alright. Let's see. On the precipice. Precipice of uh, being middle-aged, right? right? Let's duck down here. Grab some of these. 54, 98, 46, 5. Male, age 20. Okay, never mind. The age thing is irrelevant, I think. Uh, male, age 22. Patient came to us. Oh, no, maybe they're meant to be young. Maybe that's the catch, because remember, the kids were also acting weird. All right, male, age 22. Patient came to us claiming to be insane. Patient claimed he would often get the feeling of being outside himself. This feeling was so intense that it would cause the patient to be off balance during episodes. Navigation through the clinic often difficult for him to achieve without causing accidents. Huh. All right. Is that all of them in here? Let's see, they blend in pretty well, especially with uh, the texture pack now kicking in. Yoinking some stim packs. Let's see, any others down around? Under here, maybe? Just tossing some books around? Nope. Alright. Oh, man. Blew up the fucking terminal. Alright. Okay, good. I think that's everything. Let's do a quick save. Any others in, any in this room? No. Looks like they all remained within the... Uh, actual clinic or the uh what do you call it? the examination room there you go uh, we'll take all that open up these see what surprises wait within mm, bunch of poop piss beautiful yeah wow just a whole bunch of poopy piss all right fine let's see anything else around no we checked that okay cool dope let's continue on over here oh look a whole bunch of pee pees and two poo poos Anything in here? No, nope, looks completely empty, except for the pee pee and poo poo. All right, fine. All right, anything over there? Nope. First aid. Yoink. There we go. Good. And hey, what's up? I hate it here. Fucking sulfur stinks. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. That it smells real me. fucking bad. Maybe that's why they're going nuts. It's just too stinky, too smelly. They're just like, oh, this stench is driving me up the fucking wall. Jeez. All right, let's grab some of these. It's making me so fucking pissed as shit. I'm gonna like tab out and reinstall mods. <laughs> What's up? Do you have anything to say? Are you eyeballing me? How about you? What do you have to say? Anything? No, nothing. Fine. Empty whiskey. Oh look, hey, a little secret, a secret stash. You inking it? Good shit. All right, let's quick save. Where are you? Anything to say? I hate it here. Fucking Tough sulfur looking stinks. Woman. Something tells me she aims for me. Yep, she aims. She's gonna shoot your dick off. Look out, dude. Damn. Why are you even talking to me? Why are you even talking to me? Also, notice that there, there are only men here. Huh. I just realized that. Yeah. I wonder if that's meant to be intentional, because also all of the, uh... All of the patient logs, yeah, even the, the latter ones, yeah, were also male. Huh. Weird. I wonder why that is. Oh, is this Lem? Yo, it's Lem! What a fucking idiot. What's up, Lem? You're not one of us. What do you want? Hey, what's going on around here? I've come here looking for work. Now, what's going on? Fucking Cook has us trapped here. After we escaped from an NCR prison, he dragged us around the wasteland until we ended up in this shithole. A group of us want to leave. Go back to the NCR and surrender. But Cook won't let us. Uh, what were you doing in prison? I made my living sneaking into NCR camps looking for shit to steal. I got sloppy, and then I got caught. Right, so it seems like, yeah, Lem wants to turn, to get turned in. He wants to surrender. And Cook wants to, like, hang out with the Great Cons, right? I mean, realistically, there's no reason they can't both do it. Like, whatever groups want to go with Lem, they should just go with Lem. And whatever groups want to go with Cook, they should just go with Cook. But it's the the ancient taint of the Vault 19 that's manipulating the shit out of them. All right, how did how did you get out? Made it out during Cook's big prison break, like the rest of the guys here. Okay. Well, who's Cook? Samuel Cook. It was his idea to organize a jailbreak, but now he's just an overambitious prick who's gonna get us all killed. <laughs> all right. Well, tell me about the prison break. I can be pretty sneaky when I need to be, and the prison guards were a joke. So, when Cook told me his plan, I spread the info to anyone that might be useful. 
Okay, well, let's talk about something else. All right. What do you want to know? Uh, tell me about Cook again. Cook is just an old... Okay, yep, yeah, same stuff. Something else? Let's see. Well, who are you? I'm a nobody. Just a survivor. Things were well enough until the NCR threw me behind bars. Hmm, okay. We already asked him what he I did. I made my living sneaking into NCR camps looking for shit to steal. Did we? I got sloppy, and then I got caught. Okay, well, let's talk All about right. something else. Uh, got any work? If you can find a way to cut off access to the sulfur in the caves below the vault, I've got some caps waiting for you. Huh. Alright, why can't you do it? I have to watch Cook. I wouldn't put it past him to just start killing the opposition, starting with me. Alright. Well, why do you want to seal off the sulfur? Cook is planning to use the sulfur to make bigger explosives. Will you check out the caves and see if there's anything you can do? Without access to the sulfur... He'll lose what influence he has left with the men here. Okay, well, you know what? Sure. Thanks. Take his key card. I tried hacking the locking mechanisms on the doors, but it seems the only way in is with one of these. Hmm. Okay. Well, Later. see ya. Later. Huh. Interesting. All right. Maybe we can talk to, uh, talk to him again. Talk to, uh, what's his name? Cook. Let's see. What's on this? Was there one of these inside Cook's room? Recover data. Won't work. Corrupted shit. Fake medical records. Paranoia must be induced through non-violent and non-chemical means in order for the experiment to be considered a success. Data corrupted. A group of technicians have been assigned to run the reactor. They are currently researching methods to improve the reactor efficiently. The reactor floor is fully staffed and completely self-sustained. The only access between the vault proper and the reactor level is through the elevator hidden under the desk in this room. Currently, the password to open this passage is Hyacinth. Please change this password up. Data corrupted. Has not been informed of the research being undertaken in the lower levels. Oh shit, what the fuck? Damn, did, did this guy not read this shit? Man, he really is a fucking idiot. Let's see, how do I get in there? Oh, man. Is there, like, a secret switch? Cass, do you see a secret switcheroo around here? Back behind this? Oh, man, I don't know, dude. Man, maybe I'm also becoming a fucking idiot just being in here breathing this weird air. All right, here. Let's check it out. Uh, Sulphur Cave. Huh. Is this... No, it's not actually in this room. Huh, maybe it means, like, below it in a different level or something? I don't know. Because these things do tend to open up, don't they? There's no switch, though. Alright. Fine. Maybe it's activated from uh, a different room. Nope. Alright. It was worth a shot. Let's come on over here. Let's see. What's this? This is the main entrance. And this is where Cook hangs out. Overseer's office? Oh, shit. Is this another... Oh, they had two overseers as well. Oh, okay. Huh. Alright, fair enough. Let's see, maybe this one will open up. Nah, definitely not, because it's got a fucking chair on it. Alright, let's see. Or maybe, maybe it would. Shit, I don't know. Alright, here, Cook, what, what do you, you have to say? Have you those yet? No, not yet. Uh, here, can I ask what you some you stuff, know? though? Actually, never mind. Well, fuck. Hey, what? <laughs> Tell me about Lem, I guess. Yep, okay, goodbye. Bye, bye, bye Samuel Cook. Alright, anything we can interact with this? Nope, 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 nope. No, okay. Just doing a quick once-over. Alright, let's bring up the local map here. Where do we want to head to? The living quarters, maybe? Why not? Let's do it. Alright. Let's see. Red sector, door. Oh, we should go into the blue sector, shouldn't we? Yeah. Here, let's check out the blue sector and see what's going on in here with everybody. Alright, toy box. Eh, we could take a lunchbox and make some kind of lunchbox mine. I guess we may as well. Let's do it. Alright. Footlocker, though. Huh, ah, stuff worth taking. Alright, what do we got here? Caps, jumpsuit, let's see, cigarettes, bobby pin, more caps, another suit. Great. Hey, what's up? Prim's got some new sheriff watching over. Alright, yeah, we, we know about that. Here, message from the overseer, journal 138. I've been reading the bulletin boards for months now. I believe we have a spy among us. One of the reds pretending to be a blue. They are using the bulletin boards to communicate. 
I believe they want me to see it. 139. I've noticed one of the lights flickering past the door in the Red's hallway. I believed it's to be Moreau's code. From what I can tell, it's an SOS. I wonder if that's a, an intentional uh, misspelling. All right. Or maybe I'm just dumb as hell and that really is how you spell it. I don't think so. I think Moreau's is like, yeah. It's a fucking boss from Karazhan. I remember that guy. What a bastard. All right. Let's go on over this way. Let's see. Do you have anything to say, or are you just a generic Linda, dude? Tough looking woman. Something tells yeah, me yeah, she she'll shoot your dick right off. Alright. Let's go on up in here. Hey, look out! She's gonna shoot your dick off! <laughs> Fucking geckos. Fucking geckos! If it ain't some woman in here trying to shoot my dick off, gecko's gonna chomp it right off. Damn. <laughs> Miss Joe, oh my god, this person is a writer. Alright. 479. I don't trust that doctor. She has bodyguards. What kind of doctor has bodyguards? I've seen the guards bringing her meals. I don't think she ever leaves her office. There's always one posted outside at night, too. I wonder what she's hiding. 480. I've been working with a friend. He's been trying to hack into the doc's computer. And so far, we haven't had much luck. 481. It took some convincing, but I finally got him to show me what he found on the doc's computer. He was right. I wouldn't like it. The patient files looked like those from an asylum. The patient names were all in code, but some of them seemed to fit the people around us. And they can't be us. But they can't be us. I don't remember being insane. I think I would remember something like that, but... It must be true. It explains the doctor's behavior and the bodyguards. I don't know why I can't remember. It must be the, that doctor. Maybe she's drugging us. I need to get into that office. Alright. And 481 was the one we just... Okay, yeah. 482? Maybe I am insane. Maybe this isn't happening. Maybe the war never happened. And maybe I'm just trapped in my head. Jesus Christ. 483? It took some doing, but a few of us got together and managed to distract the people in the clinic long enough for me to get in and do some looking around. I found restraints and enough sedatives to kill a horse. She must be using them to control us, to make us forget. We're just pawns in her sick game. So the doctor is the only lady here. Alright, 484. We confronted the doctor today. She refused to give us any information, and we were thrown out of the clinic, some of us quite literally. We tried talking to the overseer, but acted as if he didn't know anything about it. I don't believe him. I don't trust him. And I don't trust any of them. Huh. Yeah, maybe the, the, the two overseers must have not been clued in on it at all. It was just the doctor who was, like, actually the overseer, right? All right, let's see. Take a peek in here. Oh, some goodies. Yoinking them. All right, anything up top? Nope. Locker, whatever you got. Coffee mug and ashtray, no thanks. Oh, that one is empty as hell. Dresser full of some caps. No suit, though. Toy box full of some BBs. Yoinking them. What do we got up here? Camera. Let's see. Grab some bobby pins. Leave the cigarettes. We're getting pretty, pretty full up. All right. Think that's everything. Yeah. All right. Let's continue on over this way. Oh, good lord. Am I going the right way? Shit, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Yeah. This is where we haven't been. All right. Well, that's creepy as hell. Just seeing this heavily armored dude just kind of sitting at a little children's desk in the corner. This vault gives me the creeps. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Makes you a creep too, you sick weirdo. Jeez. Don't just sit there like that. It looks scary as shit. Alright. Grabbing some caps. What do we got here? More caps. Wine. Party hat. Or pre-war hat, I should say. Alright. Beautiful couches. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, journal entry 209. Um, I couldn't sleep a few nights ago, so I stayed up reading. Around 1.30 in the morning, the vent above my bed began to 
push out more air than usual. It lasted for about five minutes and turned off. I did not think much of it at the time, but I had trouble falling asleep again last night. Once again, around 1.30 a.m., the vents turned on for about five minutes and turned off. To 10. I've been getting headaches. I think someone is poisoning us. I've been up every night this week, and night after night, an extra boost of air comes through the vents. It lasts for about five minutes, and then turns off. I spoke with one of the neighbors. He said he noticed the same thing in his room as well. We made a report to the maintenance officer. He informed us that the system was running perfectly and that there was nothing to worry about. I don't believe him. Maybe he's in on it. Huh. Alright. Man, what if the doctor wasn't in on it? Hmm. I don't know. Oh shit. We took a leather belt. Taking that though. Jumpsuit. Let's see. Miscellaneous. Leather belt. There we go. Three strength, two stam. Leather belt. Let's see. Grab some caps. Yoinking it. Alright. Anything else good around here? Oh, yo. Eh, gumdrops. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Anything else out and around here? Nope, nope, nope. Elevator down to the living quarters. Alright. Living quarters, living quarters. Sulfur cave. I don't know how we're going to pop that sucker open. Let's go down to the living quarters, I guess, and do a bit of uh, an investigation. Oh, fuck! It's the geckos! Oh, fuck! I have my fistomatics out! We're doing it, baby! Ugh! Boom! Shit! What is blowing up down here, dude? Damn, dude! There's a lot of bombs and shit! Makes sense, I guess. Powder gangers and all. Alright. Here, Cassie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those just fucking geckos over there dying? Here, Cassie. Right. Use... Yeah, Cass, use your melee, too. Here, we're gonna go in melee time. Also, Eddie, same thing. Boom. Let's see, what do we got here? Some Nuka-Cola. Oh, that is empty. Anything else around here? It doesn't look like it. All right. Big-ass gecko with its head blown the fuck off. Let's see. Pre-war money, I'll take it. Bunch of goodies up and around here. Toy box. Eh, garbage. All right. Bunch of beds. The hell did that? Oh my god. What the fuck? Look at that! Man, what are those? They're not stalagmites or stalactites. What are those things? They're like stalactites. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> oh shit. Careful, Eddie. Some sort of bastard around here. Grabbing a jumpsuit. Doing a quick save as well, just in case we walk over some sort of hellish bomb. Ooh, I hear them. They're squeaking. Never heard of geckos doing a little bit of a squeak. Sounds like a hamster. Alright. Ooh, man. Menstrual cycle. Alright, what else do we have around here? Anything good? Nope. Doesn't look like it. What do we got in here? Ball caps. Another jumpsuit. Got a few bobby pins up there. Ah! A star cap. Cool. Alright. 19 locker. Nothing in it. Oh, a secret stash. Some caps, jet, medex. Yep, taking all that stuff. We'll just take everything except the beer. Caps, leave the rest. More caps? Huh. No suit. Alright, fair enough. Anything else out and about here? Nope. Alright, let's check out this terminal. 194. I think they're in my head. Oh, no, wait. Because, hmm, yeah, they're probably... There may not be any ladies in this. We have yet to have it confirmed that there are... Now, there must be. It must be just a coincidence that all the patients have been male. Right? I don't know. Oh, well. I think they're in my head. Sometimes I hear thoughts, not my own. I think the Reds have done something to the intercom system. Rigged it somehow to broadcast into our brains. 206. What does it mean? Why are there... Why was there a blue star under my bottle cap? <laughs> are the Reds behind this? This is part of their mind control. They must be making me see things now. Things that shouldn't be there. A star shouldn't be there. Why do I see a star? It won't go away. No matter how long I close my eyes, it won't go away. I want the star to go away! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck. That's pretty clever. Alright. I like that. That's very good. 
All right. Come on out, you sick bastards. I'm ready to jam. Oh! Oh, he's coming out of the hole! Look at Cass go! Oh, shit, careful, Cass. He's breathing some some hot shit on us. Ugh! Ugh! Take it! Let's see, can we vats this bastard? Oh, look, uppercut, cross. What? We're doing it. Look at this. We're doing some fucking jujitsu shit. Boom! Boom! Ugh! What? Ooh, look! <laughs> look at him go! There you go. I don't know if you're gonna get gangrene, Cass, but you are absolutely on fire. <laughs> oh shit, look at all this. Oh man. Tunnel to the sulfur caves. Alright. Man, maybe these. Wait, shit. Yeah, if this sulfur is like. This, right now. this sulfur is like super explosive, right? Probably ain't good that these. What the fuck is that noise? But it's probably not good that these geckos are fire breathing, right? Here, Cass, swap back to your Music range. to my ears. There you go. Here, also, I'm gonna swap back to my shit. Let's see, what kind of thing do I want to use? Yeah, we may as well use. Nah, fuck that. Let's um. Hmm. We do have this LMG. That could be kind of fun. Nah, you know what? I'm feeling uh. I'm feeling that gun. Let's see if I remember where I put it. There we go. Boom. Great. Oh god, listen to them. They sound horrific as hell. Let's use some hollow points. Alright. Oh shit, there we go. Gonna six this bitch. Which one, Cass? Oh shit! Oh my god! Nailed him! Look at that, Cass, I sixed him. Alright. What else do we have on these guys? Anything good? Nope. Bunch of garbo. Ooh. Alright. Vault 19. Well, oh, there we go. Oh, whoops. There's also some good pre-war money in there. Ah. Dresser full of some caps. That's about it. Alright, how about this sucker? More caps, beer. Alright, let's take a look at this. Floor caps, some sass. Alright. Oh, oh, hang on, let's get some whiskey. There we go. Castle appreciate that. Okay, entry number 86. Voices! I can hear them through the vents! They sound like plotting! They sound like hate! The blues never sit with us! They treat us as if we have disease! Maybe we do! This whole vault is sick! Wicked sick. Alright. Same shit here, yep. I'm just assuming that all those messages from the Overseer are identical. Which I think is a safe enough bet. Alright, do we have any weird, uh... Sideways stalax? Stalax sides? Mm, I don't think so. Alright. It's like a full-ass clear over here. Let's see, we came through there. Alright, dead-ass end. Let's see, did we skip a door because we got attacked by geckos? Maybe. Uh, look, here we go. Red sector. Elevator. Oh, shit. Okay, this is the big room that we were just in. Can we access the uh, upper catwalk area? Maybe. Grab some of this stuff. Yoinkin'. Have another slurp. Let's see. Where are you all at? Oh, can we go through this? Is this navigable? Oh shit, yo it is! We're hunting shitheads. Alright. Man. Well, Cass, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there's any shitheads in here except for me. Let's see. Anything good back here hidden away? Nope. Okay. Huh. Weird. Nothing up here. Alright, fine. Interesting that you can even come up here, though. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. That's where we came from. <clears throat> like I said, Cass, I'm a shithead. What can I say? All right. Let's see. Did we fully look around this floor? Local map. First floor, first floor. All right. Looks like we're going under. I'm going under. Getting to sulfur. Good lord. <laughs> that was a mistake. All right. Oh, Time speaking of mistake. Mm. There you go. Look at Cass. Man, she's ready for action, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Juicy. All right. Anything else over here? Oh, no. An electro gecko will be in here. <gasps> A super ionic impulse gecko. Just shoots out like Godzilla breath. All right. Listen to him squeak. Oh shit, can I pickpocket him? No. 
can shoot him, though. Would have been nice if I could, like, reverse pickpocket a grenade onto that, uh, gecko. I don't know how that would work, though. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, <laughs> I guess I could just quickly shove a grenade up its butthole and just run. <laughs> That's how you reverse pickpocket some creatures that don't have clothes or anything, pockets to pick. Just, just throw it right up the butt and just fucking run for it. Got a terminal here. Diary Entry 86. The others keep telling me not to worry, but I feel it sometimes. I think there's something in here with us. I can always hear weird noises coming from above my room. Ugh. What the fuck? Maybe it's this loud fan. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's what it was the whole time. Alright. See anything good in these? Oh, something in this last one. And nothing worth taking. Alright. What do we have back here? Oh shit, actually, maybe there was something above them. Oh! Oh! Someone's looking to cash their chips early. Yeah, it was this, uh, this Night Stalker, Cass. It was a gambler. Serving up some oh shit. Hurt. Damn, good shot, Cass. Holy wackadoo. Alright, what are we looking at up here? Man, maybe we should not be looking around up here yet. We should clear out that bottom floor first. And then we'll come up. I think that's a great idea. Alright. Man, this vault is a lot fucking bigger than I remember it being. Alright. Let's see, we checked out this tool cabinet? Yeah, we did. Okay, dead-ass geckos. The electro Let's gek room. This in gear. Oop, can't go up through there. Let's oh man, cast got the wall hacks. What the hell? Ooh, jeez. Jeez! Ugh, there you go. Alright, what have we got? Nothing. Ugh. A cyber gecko. Half gecko. Half robot. All oh, man. Alright, what do we got back in here? Any? Nothing? Man, what was this gecko doing? This gecko was trying to run like a, a Kaiser coin farm. Damn, dude. Mining for Kaiser coin. Alright, let's see. Let's take a look. Living quarters. Yeah, this must be uh, where all the sulfur is at. Alright, I guess we'll go over there and take a look at it. Take a quick peek. Let's see. Let's go into the Rocky Balboa area. What do we got? I think we already pulled them all, huh? Ooh, look at all this. Oh, hey, maybe this is where the other entrance is that I remember. Could be. Oh, yeah, look at all this shit. Is this sulfur? Hey, am I about to blow everything up? Jeez. Ooh! Someone's looking to catch their chips early. Seems not smart to be just shooting my guns up in here if, if all this shit is explosive as hell. But eh, it is what it is. Let's hey, if these fire geckos here. are able to just like kind of peacefully live here, I can peacefully shit. shoot the shit out of them. Alright. Anything else out and about? Eh, doesn't look like it. Any like little secret woot loots up around in the corners? Not seeing anything. Let's see. Hmm. All right, fine. Let's bring up the map. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Can't fucking make sense of it. All right. So that seems to be where the rest of the sulfur is. Is there something over here that we haven't looked at? Oh, shit. Maybe? Oh, shit, yeah. Definitely. Oh, what's all this? Oh. Wow. It's nothing. Oh. Man, are we, like, Sarah looping around? Some hurt. Or maybe these things were fighting each other. Oh shit, look, it's some big, like, arena. Man, we are just critting the shit out of everything with this gun. Oh, okay, Time yeah, this is dead. definitely where I'd come in. That's what I remember. Yeah, look, you can come in from up, up and around here. Look at this. Hey! Where are we gonna pop out at? Oh, I'm excited! Yeah, this has got to be where I... Oh, shit. Oh man, it's like steaming. Ooh, is this another sulfur rock? Maybe that's the stink. Maybe that's not steam at all, and that's just a big stinky stink. Where the hell are we? Let's bring up the world map. Oh shit! I bought by old Whitaker Farmstead. My god, dude had a lot of sulfur underneath his fucking farm. Jeez! I wonder if that's good for a farm or not. I have no idea. Maybe it would act as like some kind of super f fertilizer? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's good, right? Because cow poop gives off a lot of sulfur, doesn't it? Or am I mistaken? Am I thinking of something else? I think so. Like, manure gives off sulfur, right? 
Or maybe I'm just thinking of uh, when, when they start producing the manure, when they're shitting their pants all over the place. Maybe. All right, what do we got over in here? Bunch of turned over bullshit. Some caps. All right. Well, is this where, like, the, the true overseer was hanging out at? Maybe. Oh, gosh. Very reminiscent of, uh, Little Lamplight, I think. I don't know, maybe not. It's been a while since I played Fallout 3. Alright. Here we go, what do you got? Anything? Nuka-Cola? Some sass? I guess we'll take it. Here, Cass, can you take some of this shit? Let's see what you got. Let's see, here, take all this, yep. What else can you take? An RCW, an LMG, Marksman Carbine. Feel free to use these things if you have the ammo, I don't mind. No? Okay. Let's see, anything else back behind here? Doesn't look like it. Let's do a quick save. Anything in this? Secret footlocker? Yo, a power fist! Man, they are really not worth that much at all, are they? Huh. Would have thought they'd be worth a pretty penny, but no. Some scrap metal. May as well take it. Alright, let's bring up the map again. Let's see, this goes to the first floor. Huh. Oh, shit! Yo, this must be the secret access point! Hey! Look at this! Yo! Alright, let's hack this shit. Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey. At least I got it. <laughs> Alright. Is there gonna be any secret details here? No, just disengaging the lock? Eh, fair enough. Hey, hello! Lem? You fucking idiot! Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, that's Lem. Hey, Lem, what's up? It's me! I'm back! Guess what? There was a secret scary person underneath there, the whole time. And it was me! Yeah, what do you want? May I ask you some uh, questions? No? Okay. Later. I mean, Philip, if you wanted to sneak out, this would be like the perfect area for you to do so. Alright, fine. Maybe we should talk to Cook. Well, no, let's see. What's our quest say? Find a way to cut off- okay, eliminate the fire gecko- yeah, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Let's eliminate some fire geckos still. Apparently there's still a few surviving. Let's see, local map. Hmm. Let's see, have we been down this area? I don't know. Huh. you think we would have come up through here. But I guess not? Yeah, look, we were definitely around and about. Shit, man, I'm getting all turned around in this place. It's the only trouble with these vaults. F such fucking mazes. Good lord. Alright, we'll pop on down here. Ugh, there we go. And go on out through this direction. We'll finally head over to uh, all those sulfur rocks, I think, is what they are. We'll see what's up. Let's see. Huh. Alright, yeah. Heading on over here. Past all these dead-ass geckos. It says that we still have some geckos alive, but I, I don't know. We're not picking up any on the dude dar. No geckos. Huh. Have you ever heard a gecko in real life like a big super gecko? I've heard some geckos before, like, in out in the jungle. Out in, like, a jungle wilderness. And, uh, they sound fucking scary. Some of them like to sing to you or something. They go like, Tuko! Tuko! Uh, in the middle of the fucking night, these geckos just, like, screaming at you. Oh my god, it's awful. If you've ever been screamed at by a gecko, I don't. I mean, if you haven't, I don't recommend it. Don't ever fucking try and get yourself in a situation where some sort of lizard gecko is just screaming at you non-stop. Oh shit, where the fuck is this? Did we come out through here? Ooh. Okay, yeah. Ugh, god, that sounds disgusting. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, if we come on up here, this should be where all that super rock is. Oh look, there is a gecko. <gasps> Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Look at that. Oh, we're getting... We're getting... We're getting getters. We got them. There we go. Cool. Let's see. Some gecko hide. Whole bunch of shit. Let's see. Hmm. Anything else out and about in here? Before we do some wild shit? Eh, it doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. Let's see, we'll bring all this up. Oh, okay, fine. 
stow this away. Let's see, and this is um, where we came by that sort of split area, right? Yeah, okay. With the Night Stalkers and stuff. Alright, can we inspect these big-ass rocks and do anything interesting with them? Maybe. Let's see, what's our quest say? It says, uh, talk to Samuel Cook, right? Find a way to cut off access to the sulfur. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, here it is. How would we do that? I think we can, like, blow it up or something. Microclean rock. Microcline rock. Oh, look at this. Huh. The crystals on this rock seem to indicate a pocket of potassium nearby. Some strategically placed C4 could be enough to destroy both the cave and the vault. Plant enough C4 to destroy the caves, plant enough C4 to destroy the caves, and then run like hell. Huh. Alright. Weird. Maybe... I'm kind of tempted to destroy the caves and then run like hell. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm kind of tempted to do that. I mean, I know they want to turn them... Well, yeah, we should probably try and get them to turn themselves in, shouldn't we? If that's what they want to do. Alright. Let's head on over this way. Oh, gosh. Weird how it makes you start out looking at the floor. Okay, so we fully looked, checked out that area. Let's head on back to the first floor. Let's see. Going back up through here. And we fully explored everything in the vault. Right? Okay. Yeah, Mojave Wasteland. Okay, let's do a quick save. A lot more troops on the road these days. Wonder All right. Up. Let's see. Where were they at? Yeah, the two overseers' office. Okay, this way. Yeah. All right. Great. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Let's see. Can we talk to Lem first? Maybe we can talk to Lem. What's up, Lem? Do you have anything new to yeah. say? Questions? Uh, tell me about Cook. No. Okay. Something. Okay. See ya. See ya, Lem. All right. Let's quick save here. We'll see if we can interact with uh, Cook without uh, doing it his way. Because you know what? I'd much rather just blow the shit out of this place. Have you wiped out those geckos yet? Yeah, dude. I wiped them out big time. Good. Hey, I got another job for you if you're interested. Okay, sure. What do you need? I want you to head to Red Rock Canyon north of here. Find Papa Khan and ask him if he'd allow the Powder Gangers to join up. Huh. Oh, why do you want to join the Great Khans? There aren't enough of us here to make a real impact on the NCR. And the cons probably hate the NCR more than we do. Strength in numbers, they say. Well, so I mean, they're kind of. Papa Khan on our behalf. <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, maybe you should have an update on the the Papa Khan situation. But uh, okay. Hey, sure, I'll do Great. it. Great. Come back as soon as you can. Oh shit! Merciful thug. Despite your reputation as a thug, you are known to occasionally show a charitable side. Okay. Shit. I guess we gotta go back and talk to old Papa Khan. Damn. Let's see. Do we we still have the other part of this quest though? To uh, oh no, we don't. Oh no, we don't have it anymore. Huh? Maybe that's a mistake. Oh shit! He's locked in there forever. Oh jeez! <laughs> what happened? Oh, that's not good. Dude is just sealed up in there. Oh man! All right. Well, maybe we're making one hell of a fucking mistake. Jeez. Huh? <laughs> part of me is kind of tempted to just reload this and blow them all the fuck up. You know, part of me is tempted to do that. Let's see. We have the quick save still. <laughs> we might do that. Hmm. We might do that. You know what? Let's quick load. <laughs> Let's quick load. All right. Let's see. Let's go on down here. Samuel Cook. I'm sorry, I know you want to join the Papa Khan and all that stuff, but, uh, guess what? Not today. I'm not gonna allow you to fuck over the NCR, even though maybe maybe they deserve it. Nah, probably not blowing them the fuck up. They probably don't deserve that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Which way are we even going? Good God. What a fucking maze. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay, left... And then we go right. Right? Yeah. And then we go left. Alright. Maybe we'll do a quick save right next to this super rock. We could just blow them all the fuck up. I think that's how I solved this before. <laughs> I just blew- I was just like, Ugh, fuck. What a moral decision. What a moral dilemma. I'll just fucking blow them all up. <laughs> Alright, here. We'll destroy the caves. Boom. Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, God. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Ain't gonna be happy about that, are they? All right. Let's see if we can't get back on up here. There we go. We're not picking up any uh, tough looking pissed woman. off dudes though. The dude dark. Tells me she aims for the crotch. <laughs> I like how that's their way of deciding whether or not a, a woman looks tough. Man, that lady, she looks like she's tough as nails. Looks like she'll shoot me right in the damn dick. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Should we talk to Samuel Cook? Maybe we'll just pretend like the geckos What the did. fuck have you done? We needed that sulfur. Oh, I took care of the geckos. You won't get a fucking cap from me. And you're lucky I don't blow your goddamn head off. <laughs> the whole point of killing the geckos was so that we could get at the sulfur. And you've just made that a hell of a lot more difficult. Now fuck off. Oh, man. Samuel Cook. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know about that. Oh, whoops. Oh, silly me. Oh, I'm such a ditz. Oh, jeez. Man, I'm just dumb as hell. What can I say? All right. Hey, Philip Lemmy, you picking your damn nose? I sure hope that explosion was you. Did you seal off the sulfur? Yeah, I sure Good did. Good to hear. Without access to the sulfur, Cook doesn't have much to offer the gang. I... I guess it's over then. We can turn ourselves in. Have you considered joining the Great Cons? You're doing the right thing. Why do you want to surrender? Uh, you're doing the right thing. Yeah, why do you want to we surrender? We can't survive like this. There are too many of us, and we don't have the resources. And maybe it's the right thing to do. Hmm. You're right, it is. Goodbye. Uh, do I really want them to join the Great Cons? Hmm. No, yeah, you guys should turn yourselves in. Uh, yeah, you're right, it is. Thank you. I think I just needed to hear someone else say it. I suppose without rule of law, we're no better than raiders. I mean, yeah, that's exactly how that works, right? Merciful thug. Despite your reputation as a thug, you are known to occasionally show a charitable side. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, why can't we be friends? It's because you blew a bunch of people up. That's that's why. That's the answer to that. <laughs> As it turns out, friendship is a little tough when you're blowing people the fuck up. It, it's, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. All right, well, when next we come back, holy shit. Quest complete. Vault uh, 19 complete. I guess we're going to head on out and uh, go take some more sweet pictures and get on some more weird-ass adventures. Till next time, peace. Peace.